in this video we will discuss what a system on chip is and how a complex chip like this one is designed we are now in an era where smartphones we carry around do much more than what previous generations personal computers could do the apollo spaceship that took first human to the moon had less computing power than what's sitting in your pocket this cell phone so now for a system of chip when i say system it means crucial functions on the device like processor memories storage io controllers and if you have assembled pc you would know these functions are typically handled by different components you have to install these separately what we used to do put on something known as motherboard soc by contrast integrates multiple or sometimes all these in one piece of silicon that is sometimes same size or even smaller size than a single cpu now why would you create an soc it has multiple advantages higher performance lower cost higher reliability power efficiency and lighter footprint as you can imagine integrating all such functionality on a single chip can be very complex task so let's understand how it is done the first part is finalizing the specification also known as specs market needs drive the specs for example whether in new version you want face detection or you want just old fingerprint based button unlock after that once the specifications are decided you want need to decide what part of the operation will be done in hardware and what operation will be done in software also known as hardware software partitioning to explain let's say let's explain this in a simpler term let's say in your soc you want to do multiplication now you have two options you can simply have a hardware which does multiplication or you can have an adder typically which will you will have in computing elements and do sh multiply by shift and add like we used to do in primary schools what we learned in schools of course choices like this decide how fast soc will run and how much the cost of soc is going to be now once this partitioning is done the hardware components also known as ips must be identified for example whether you want to use intel cpu or you want to use a risk 5 processor or you want to use an arm core also which arm core you want to use for example this one or this one all these are difficult choices which as a chip architect has to think through and analyze as part of something which is known as architectural exploration now once this is decided some of these ips may be just available off the shelf in the market there are multiple ip companies in the ecosystem which sell that or you your company itself might have the same ip or some of the ips need to be completely redesigned starting from scratch and once all that is decided you go through your vlsi flow and tape out an soc these aspects are covered in much detail a lot of detail in two of our courses you can see the links in the description and purchase these courses if you like this video please like subscribe to our channel and also don't forget to share the video thank you for watching